Well, there was a 2001 study by Alan Dennis and colleagues uh, in AMJ, and they ranked uh, all the business schools by discipline on their performance. And uh, that was the first time I realised that um, schools could be good at different things. You know, I just sort of assumed that top performance, they'd be good at everything. Um, but Georgia State, um, you know, was, I don't remember what ranking it was, one of the top three anyway in information systems. I remember that was um, the ranking that I looked at and I talked about it with my advisor who was Ron Weber at the time back in Queensland. And uh, he and some of the other faculties at uh, University of Queensland, they all knew about Georgia State and told me good things about Georgia State. Um, yeah, that was pretty clear. So the scale and scope basically. Um, Nowhere really matches Georgia State on that, um, both of those dimensions. Um, scale is just the number of good faculty. Um, that may still be true today, that there's nowhere with quite as many really, really good faculty. And then in scope, um, all the topics, to say it was like being a kid in a candy store. And so, yeah, there's nowhere else like that. Yeah. So, uh, so that, yeah, it was a real privilege. But I originally, one of the reasons I picked Georgia State was uh, because I had a background in conceptual modelling research and I really wanted to do that. Um, and I had sort of picked my ideal um, thesis committee before I came. It was going to be Vida and Dan and Richard Baskerville. And I'd sort of planned it. Well, of course, I didn't do that. Uh, and I think that probably happens with most PhD students. You have this idea and then you change. Um, but the thing about Georgia State is you can change to something completely different and you'll have a world-class committee, no matter what you pick. Georgia State is incredibly student uh, supportive um, and I think the thing it does is learning almost to be a faculty member before you graduate on the research teaching service fronts. So you, you can produce and you can perform at a faculty level by the time you leave, which I don't think many schools can do on those, all of those three levels. I always felt I had a champion there beside me. Um, and. He was very good at reframing things, so I would go into his office thinking, you know, everything's fallen apart, it's all terrible, there's this huge fatal problem, and I would walk out of the room reframed where that problem was now this like extremely good thing in my study and it was this big opportunity and I could reframe it to be a real positive and he was very good at that. One thing I came out of this with is a, a network and um, I'm a more it's introverted character. I'm not a, someone who goes around uh, networking. At Georgia State, it comes naturally. Right? It comes just through the performance of your PhD. You come out with a network because uh, if you're working hard with all of these professors, they say nice things about you to their network, and you start doing reviews for editors, and other people see your work, and so you come out and you're automatically connected. Um, and then you're connected to all the alumni from Georgia State. Uh, who now are all in good positions everywhere. It's, uh, it's a very, very strong network and um, I think that's uh, incredibly important. More important than you realise, more important than I realised.